Today on our 2007 Ford Super Duty, we will be installing the custom underbed installation kit for B&W companion fifth wheel trailer hitches. Part number BWG NRK 1108-5W. First, we'll show you how the B&W fifth wheel companion works. First, we'll pull out the locking pin on the side of the truck and twist it towards the front of the truck so the pin stays open. Now we can place our partially assembled companion hitch into position. Next, we'll close the locking pin on the side, which will hold the companion in place. We'll then tighten this bolt on top of the companion assembly, which tightens the hitch to the pin underneath. We'll lock down the bolt by placing the locking bracket over it. Now we can install the head assembly. You set it down into place and lock it in with the pin and clips on each side. We're now ready for towing. This installation kit can also be used for gooseneck applications as well. Now let's show you how to install the kit. To start our installation, we went ahead and removed the rear tires and the spare tire. The first step to install on our hitch is going to be to remove the exhaust hangers and get the exhaust lowered and out of our way. Spray that down with a little lubricant just to help it pop off there easier. Now before we drop our exhaust, we're going to go ahead and support it with a strap. With the exhaust supported, we can use a pry bar and start removing our exhaust hangers. Now our hole needs to be drilled at 47 inches into the bed. So we're just going to measure from the back of the bed up to 47 inches. We'll make a mark at 47 inches. And then we'll want to find the center going from these two weld seams. Now the distance between the weld seams is 49 inches. So we're going to look for 24 and a half and mark that over our 47 inch mark from before. And that'll give us our center. Now that we've got our location to drill marked, we'll start with a quarter inch bit and we'll drill a pilot hole. To cut the hole for our gooseneck hitch, we'll use a four inch hole saw. Now our next step is gonna to be to remove this heat shield here. And that will just grab a hold of it with some channel locks and pull down. Before we put the hitch into place, it's not a bad idea to spray some paint or some underbody coating where we drilled for the hitch itself just to help protect against rust. Now we got the heat shield out of the way, we need to remove this exhaust bracket. That's just the one bolt holding it on right there. We're gonna pull that off. But first we'll spray it down with some lubricant and rust penetrant. Then we'll back the bolt out. Now we're gonna set this bracket to the side because we will use it later on. We'll just have to add an extension bracket to it. Now our next step here is going to be to modify this flange just a little bit so we can get our cross members in there. Now where we'll want to make our cut is about one and a half inches in front of this hat channel. Here we're just going to use some tin snips to make our cut. Now with our cuts made, we'll just grab it with some channel locks, pry the metal out of place. We're ready to put our rear channel in here. And the rear piece is the one that's got the three cuts. We'll just angle it up and match it with our cut from earlier and slide it in place. Now it's time to install the front bar for our hitch. As you can see, we got the suspension mount right here. So we're going to take the bar like we did before, not just pointing in, and we're going to slide it to the back of that suspension mount. And this one should just slide right in place. And once it's across, we'll come up and over that mount. Now we're going to work with our side plates and clamp straps. First thing we'll do is take our clamp strap and we'll get that located into place. To do that, we'll just put it around the bottom of the frame and push it up into place. You'll notice that we have a notch for the edge of the frame and for our lines right there. We'll go ahead and take our side plate, slide that down across there, line this top hole up with the bolt on our clamp strap. Now with the hole lined up and the bolt through that hole, go ahead and take our lock washer. 
and the nut. We'll just kind of hand tighten it on there for now to hold everything in place and pull up some of the slack. We just want to hold the side bracket up a little bit here and just make sure we have those holes lined up. Once we do that, we'll take this bolt, feed it through our strap clamp, and out the back side of the side bracket up there. We'll start with a lock washer, and we'll just hand tighten that down again with that nut. You notice there's a gap. We'll get to that here in a little while, and we'll draw that together once we tighten everything down. We're gonna take this spacer here, and we'll put that between the side plate and the frame. Now with the spacer in place, take this bolt and slide it through. Now there are wires on the back side of this. We'll have to move those out of the way. And then on the other side of the frame, we'll put another flat washer. Then our lock washer. And finally, the nut. We'll go ahead, just like the other ones, just hand tighten this one down. Now that we got the driver side all into place, we'll move to the passenger side and repeat that same process. Now with all the brackets in place, we'll place the hitch up into the truck. It usually helps to have a second set of hands so we can put the hitch into place. Now we do want to note that the hitch release, the side with the spring, goes towards the driver's side of the vehicle. Now that we got our bracket pressed up against the hitch, we'll go ahead and insert our hardware. We'll use our flat washer and our bolt. That'll go in towards the hitch. And on the back side, we'll add a lock washer and a nut. And now we'll repeat that process for the front rail. We'll use the same hardware as we did inside the frame rails, but out here on the bracket and the side plate. And we'll repeat that process on the other side of the vehicle. With all of our bolts in place, we go ahead and tighten them down just a little, take up all the slack. And then once we finish that, we're gonna make sure the Pitch is square to the frame. Now that we got all our hardware in place, connecting the side plates to the rails, we need to measure from the back part of the rail to the hat channel on the frame, and then we'll take that measurement on the passenger side of the vehicle to make sure it's square before we tighten down our bolts holding the hitch to the frame itself. So over here, we're at about six and a half inches. We'll go over the passenger side and check our measurement over there. And we're at six and a half inches here as well. So we know that our hitch is square to the bed and to the frame. We go ahead and tighten down the rest of our hardware. With all of our bolts snugged up, we're gonna go ahead and torque them. And after we've finished tightening these center bolts, we'll move to this one, and then the bolt up to the top. The next step is to install the release handle for the hitch. To do that, we'll take the handle, feed it up to this opening here, and out through the frame of the truck. And we'll put our carriage bolt in place, and then this flange nut on the other side. Now with the nut in place, we can tighten it down. With the handle installed, we'll try it and see how it works. All right, now that we have the handle installed, we showed you the operation of that. We need to drill out these four holes. Those four holes will be used for our safety chain hoops. Now with this, we are gonna drill from the bottom up as I just showed you, because we can use this as a template. That way there's no guessing up top when dropping down the hardware.
Now with our holes drilled, we got to get into the bed of the truck. We'll take our U-bolts and we'll drop them down through the holes. Now, sometimes you might have a little metal or just some debris on these holes. So it doesn't hurt that once you're up here, you go ahead and take the drill, and just kind of route them out a little bit, make sure everything sits in there just nice. Now that we clean the holes up, the U-bolt just drops right into place. And here are our U-bolts that we dropped down from the top of the bed. We're gonna put our hardware on there to secure them in place. The spring will go over the bolt, and then we'll put that nut on the U-bolt. That is a locking nut, so we wanna make sure we only go two to three threads exposed on the bottom of it. Once that bolt is completed, we can move on to the other three posts. All right, there's the factory exhaust hanger. Now it's time to reuse this. But before we put it back up, we're gonna bolt it to this new hanger. And that hanger's gonna bolt into the factory location that this was in earlier. This allow the exhaust to sit just a little bit lower and it avoid hitting the hitch. So to do that, take this detent, we'll line it up with that hole right there. Take the carriage bolt, feed it in from the back side, and we'll tighten it down with this flange nut. Now that it's tightened up to the original factory hardware, we can hang this back in place, and then we can start putting our exhaust back up and slide it right up into place where the original hanger went. We will use our factory hardware that we removed earlier on for our new bracket. We also have another flange nut and carriage bolt to put in the slot where the detent pin came out earlier. There's the new nut from the new carriage bolt we put in on the other side. We'll tighten that one down as well. Now we're ready to go back and put our exhaust up. We'll loosen up this strap, take a little spray lubricant, spray it in the hanger, slide the exhaust hanger back into place. With this hanger in place, we'll go ahead and connect the rest of them. Now, we'll reinstall the spare tire and the rear tires. And that concludes today's installation of the custom underbed installation kit for B&W Companion 5th Wheel Trailer Hitches, part number BWG NRK 1108-5W on our 2007 Ford Super Duty.